Joshua Prince Ramos's new building in Istanbul owes a lot to serendipity. The project coalesced quickly at the end of New York's Fashion Week in 2007, when Cem Hako, the CEO of Vako, a Turkish fashion house, and Power Media, Turkey's equivalent of MTV, walked into the office of Prince Ramis's firm Rex and requested that he design and build a new headquarters for both companies in less than a year. To speed up the process, Hako had bought a site with an abandoned concrete structure that had been slated to be a motel 20 years previously. Three days later, Prince Ramis stepped off a plane in Istanbul and got his first glimpse of the site. When we saw the building, uh, we literally started cracking up. And you know, he said, well, what is funny? And we said, well, do you remember this project that we had shown you in the office, which is actually a project that he had really found an affinity for, which was a project of ours for Caltech that had died two years previously. It was almost exactly the same footprint, um, floor to floor, uh, and so the the systems were almost identical. We went that afternoon and the next day and we worked with his engineers um, and they started construction on Wednesday using the construction documents that we had developed and put on hold for Caltech. For Vaca, we had a pre-existing structure that was extremely over-designed because of their fear of earthquakes. We had no documents. We had no idea how the structure had been engineered. We didn't know how the perimeter was going to rack. We just didn't know. And so the only way that we could really efficiently put the glass on the side of the building was four pins. Well, if you have four pins, the idealized structural shape then would be an X, that they cross brace between the four pins. And so that led to just the desire of taking a flat piece of glass and um, slumping into it an X. And that greatly increased the uh, stiffness of the glass and allowed us to reduce it to 3 sixteenths of an inch. In both designs, the exterior structure appears relatively modest, a three-story concrete skeleton with a curtain wall facade. However, within the center of the building, a structurally independent series of steel frame boxes tilt and collide to provide circulation and eccentric spaces. We worked with structural engineers to make a series of programmatic boxes, for the lack of a better word. The boxes were designed such that they could be composed in pretty much any possible combination or permutation of the boxes. So after determining what those would be, we sent that out to the mill order. We then had six weeks to play with the boxes in order to figure out what was the final composition. And the final composition had to uh, have an integral structure. Um, it also had to provide all the primary and secondary circulation for the building, which meant that the boxes also had to tilt in many cases. We, there's one box that is an elevator core, there's one box that's a stair core. And so that led to this very unusual looking thing that you know, I often describe as the alien coming out of the belly of Cain. Um, you know, because you have this very simple concrete over-designed structure and this very, very articulated, unusual steel element that sits in the center. We made the decision that this element in the center, we'd make a kind of Dr. Caligari's cabinet. And that was for several reasons. Um, the first was to make it something that was com radically different from the thing that it was, the center of which it was occupying. Um, it was also a bit of a play on the idea of a fashion company because it, it meant that the models who were coming in are literally, you know, mirrored thousands of times through the thing. It also is a relatively small building that, that gives the building a kind of unusual sense of scale, particularly because unbeknownst to most people, they think it's only a four-story building. They don't realize that there's two more floors beneath it. And so when you get into that central cavity and it's getting mirrored around, you, you actually suddenly have the sense of incredible uh, height or depth. Um, and so what looks like a horizontal building, you experience it as a vertical building, and that play was really interesting. 